glad you could join me today on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here is a free stretch canvas, 16 by 20. What I did was I covered it today with a coat of black gesso and a thin coat of liquid clear. And what I also did was I covered the sky part with almost a purple color. And the bottom part, the bottom half, with like a phthalo green, phthalo blue mixture to give it a blue green look. So what I was going to do is going to do a nighttime scene of the ocean with the moon, maybe some clouds, some stars, some palm trees, and maybe a light, light colored beach. And any information and all the colors you need will come across the screen right about here. So that's where I'm at so far. I got got a head start on it. So let's get started by painting some. I'm going to start out with some liquid white. Liquid white on a brush. I think I'm going to start out with a little fan brush, just like that. Just wiping off my fingers here. I use odorless paint thinner. I'm going to load this up here with uh, some titanium white and liquid white. What I want to do is, I'm going to use my finger first, the old trusty paintbrush. I want to determine where I want to want the moon to be. Maybe it's off here tonight. Maybe we'll put it right about here. Maybe we'll make it. The circular motion. Start in the middle and work your way out. What I'm trying to do now is create that hue, that uh, misty look. I'm add some more color onto my finger. Get it whiter. I think I want a bigger. Nice big moon. And the further you go out, the hazier to get. That's kind of what you want. Because if you ever look in the sky at night, and you see the moon, it's got that haze around it. That's what I'm trying to create right now. Just keep going around. Just keep taking that and moving it. Want that hazy look. That hazy look all the way around it. Load it up again, my finger. some more white. I want to keep it white. As white as you can. Because you know how the moon is. The moon is pretty white at night. It's almost like finger painting. some stuff happening like that. So I take that fan brush, let it load it up, and knock some paint off of it. 
what I want to do is come in here and try to pull this out. What that's going to do is that's going to blend in and give you that hazy look that we're going to look for. You notice once that color started coming off the fan brush, that white automatically pulled into that hazy look. Wipe the fan brush off some more. Got a little bit too much white on there. We want to pull just to, to get that misty glow look to the moon. This is going to be at the beach side. Just keep working your way out. So you kind of get the angle you're looking for. The glowness. I add some more white on that. Moon. all kinds of little things happening in the moon. Step back and get an angle on it. Just keep working it in. Okay, you feel you got what you're looking for. I want it a little bit brighter. I want the mist to go out more. So I'm just going to take some of that white on the fan brush and just pull it out. Maybe it comes right down to the water line. Since we said we're going to have an ocean. Sometimes it looks like that. If you look at it at night. You got that right down to the water. Now I'm going to take the same fan brush. Have the color that I have on there some. And you know how at night sometimes you got some of the colors of uh, there's clouds out there so we could put some clouds in here because sometimes they're at night you could see them by the moon all i'm doing is circular motions and i'm trying to fluff it up because in the sky the clouds are fluffy wiping off some of that paint. I don't want a whole lot on there. Just enough to give it give it that look. Maybe there's some over here too. Coming right down. You got that white on the top there, that's what you want. That's what gives it that look. The way the clouds look by the moon. They'll be sharp right there on that edge. Turn the brush over to get that sharpness going. And the clouds, they can be all kinds of different shapes. Things happening. Darker, lighter all the way down the horizon, just like that. 
Hope you can see that. Hope the reflection behind these not too bright. And maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe we have some more here. But maybe this one is going to be lighter on this side because of the moon. I started that way and then now I'm working back away from it. Just tapping it here and there. Get some of that reflection off of the moon. Hitting the bottom of that. And you can also come back and tap in. Maybe where you want it to be. Maybe where you want the moon to hit. Highlight it. Highlight some of that area. Here and there. All I'm doing is tapping. And I'm trying to get a, a visual. And I'm trying to create the look that I think it would be if I seen it at night. With some of the reflections of the moon hitting off of some of the clouds. And I'm taking some of that color off and I'm going to come in here and make some more just some clouds kind of all over the place. Distant clouds though, but we'll know they're there. All kinds of big clouds over here. Can't see them as well because of the moon. They're not uh, we're not getting off on that that side of it too much. Hope you can see some of these. Because they're there. The distance. Maybe put some in here. I'm wiping the fan brush off some more. Maybe put some in the distance over here, right? Right by the horizon, right where the water is going to be. Wherever you think, it's your world. Maybe there's a big one right there that goes down. These clouds are like all over. Clouds do everything. up this moon here. See what I did was I took some away from there and it kind of gave it a shadowy look. What I'm using is paper towels or you can use rags. I kind of use both. Now since we got that going on there, got the sky in. What I'd like to do is, I think, put more, more clouds here closer to, closer to the moon. Got some things happening. Okay, now we're going to start on some of the water, some of the ocean, and what I'm going to do is start right along here with the fan brush and titanium white, and just go across.
maybe right where that moon is there's going to be a hue there just like that Then the rest is going to be the waves. Some of it's going to be darker and lighter. Sometimes the waves are out there. Now they might be getting some of that moon, the reflection from the moon. All I'm doing is going back and forth like that. And that dark color that we have on there. It will pick up off of this white. We're just going back and forth and leaving spaces in there. Leaving some openings. try to do now so I'm going to try to get some the green in phthalo green phthalo blue so it picks it up gets it some color down through here so with that liquid clear on and this color here when you put that white on it'll start picking up some colors that that's fine back in there you might not see the colors as well but down here is where I want to start picking up picking up some of the color here and there more white get some waves coming in this is going to be a quiet night moon's out there's going to be some little waves coming in. Just kind of crashing in the shore. Just want to fill that in. Wherever you think the wave might be. Where a wave might hit got different light colors hitting off especially at night in the in the water because of the moon it's reflecting off different things I got some more white right here I'm just tapping that almost gives it a look like there's it's rough out there some waves distant waves here and there I 
that goes off. May not be able to see a lot of that. Because it's too far off in the distance. Just tap on where you have the highlighted ones, where the ones are kind of bigger. Automatically it looks like there's a wave coming in. Maybe right in here. Just tapping it. Maybe right here. Here and there. Maybe that's a big one coming in. Another one back there. You get that look. I'm going to add some more color down here. I really want to pull that. Get some of that green hue going. Take a palette knife and load up some titanium white, a little roll of paint, liquid white. I'm going to come in here and tap some of this because get some water lines going. looks like that by the moon. Okay, what we got going on down here is we're going to bring in some waves now. Just have some coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fan brush again. Load it up with titanium white. More liquid white, I think. And just kind of scrape it in. Where the water might be coming in. And over here we're going to have a beach. And what we want to do is pull back on this and that edge. Give it that look of some water coming in. We can come back and highlight this area. Take the palette knife, liquid white, titanium white. We're going to load some up on come in here and tap some of the water line. Right where you think it might be. Just barely touching it. The canvas is going to take what it wants and give you the rest. Sometimes if you feel you have too much on, you can usually tell. Just getting that going like that. That's where you got coming in. 
Now, we're going to take the brush here, and we're going to come in here and just go right across. Trying to get that to happen there. Then what we're going to do is start another water line. Maybe there's some coming right up here. You want to kind of have that gap in between. Because it looks like there's waves coming in then. I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it back. So you get that angle. You get that look of the wave coming in. So another wave coming in there. We're going to take the same palette knife and the colors, liquid white. We're going to come in and just tap it. Right where you think it might be crashing in. Just along the edge. Just like that. Maybe put some more up here. Maybe it's shallower there. So you're going to see more foaminess. Okay, we got that happening. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, get some foamy, foamy looks going. Maybe where it was all crashing in. We're going to cover probably most of this up. We just want to get that look. That look of a lot of foam. stuff happening down here. a dark scene. That's a dark, uh, dark sky. I'm going to do some more lightening up here. Put some in front, some behind. all kinds of things going on right by the moon. I'm just doing that right there because that's giving me that line that I'm looking for. And then you can just go in and do all kinds of things. kinds of wild stuff happening. Of 
cleaning the brush off. I'm gonna come in and start the start the land for the palm trees. I'm gonna get some of this color, light color, titanium white, liquid white. A little bit of a brownish hue to it. Maybe, maybe in our world it's right there. Comes right down. Just tapping it. Maybe add some more color here. Maybe it's right there. I'm right down there. I'm gonna clean up the brush some. And since we don't use, don't need a lot of this color here, let me just come in and scrape it off. And you're paying a stick better to it. Because uh, thin paint sticks to a thick paint every time. So we're just scraping some of that off. And we'll come back in with the color again. The lights, the beachy look. Here and there, just tapping it. Leaving some space in between because you're going to see that that's going to give you your your depth. It's going to give you your different angles of your lay of the land or lay of the beach. down here it goes all the way down we'll come back in and keep highlighting it I'm going into some liquid clear and some yellow cadmium yellow titanium white liquid white all of those load it up that look where the moon is hitting off of the sand maybe some over here at this corner goes all the way down more light color yellow to get that whitey white sand look the white beach keep it darker and closer to you because that's the way it's going to look just tapping that just to kind of give it a hue of flavor there. Maybe over here. Let it go all the way down. Just tapping it. Just filling it in.
You can come back in and highlight it more like you did the other side. Grab them some more white, yellow, light color. Right down in the middle there. Gotta load the brush up. Just fill it up. Just keep tapping. Turn the brush over. Got some stuff happening here. popping off of that. Really highlight that area. Now we're going to take that same light color. Get to put some palm trees in. Same lighter colors. trees are right here. Just tapping. All the way down. that look. Maybe maybe we'll have another one out here more. Just tapping it. Maybe that palm tree runs right out like that. You know how sometimes they go on an angle? Just tap down. Just like that. Maybe there's one up here. Going right off the canvas. Just tapping. You got that same look happening. I'm going to take the palette knife now. I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to get some of that lighter colors. Load it up on the palette knife. And then come in here and highlight it. Just tap it. Tap it where I think that glow is coming. From the moon. here and there. Kind of give you that look. I'm going to take the fan brush now. Wipe it off. 
I'm going to take it and I'm going to try to pull it and give it a circular motion on the trees here from where the highlight was to give it some pull and some angle just barely pulling pulling and lifting giving a circular motion just like that now we're going to come in to liquid clear and some green green colors I want to make it lighter lighter green for the palm trees Take more of this color here. So we'll start by just tapping down, deciding on where we want the palms at, how many we want. Usually they're all over. <laughs> Palms come up everywhere. Just like that. Load up some more paint. We're going to take it and just pull. Pull from the center part. Right down into the water. Same thing here. Pull. Get that angle of the palm trees. And how they would look. Maybe we've got some on this side of it. on that side it's lighter because the moon's out it's highlighting some of the palms like that. Add some more liquid clear to the colors. That one goes right out to the right up to the sky. That one goes who knows? <laughs> that one goes back right there. You can leave some gaps in between. Because it gives it that real look. Now we'll come over to this palm and put him out there. Here and there. He's going to come in front of the other one. Just like that. Kind of all over. Pulling some more color up and pulling it. Pulling it right down off the color that we just put on there. And all kinds of little colors happening in there. 
for our nighttime for our nighttime palm tree look. That goes just like that. Maybe you don't see all of that one. Whatever you think. However you think it should be, that's exactly the way it should be. And that goes right up there. That goes in there. Just fill it in right down whatever you think maybe this has got some bigger ones here pretty nice pretty nice nighttime scene nighttime at the beach blend some color up again and the fan brush Coming in to do this last palm tree over here. He's going to have a lot that's going off. You're not going to see a whole lot of it. Maybe he won't have as many. Those are all different. Come in here and pull down. Barely pull get that look. Just like that. And at night you're going to see a different, it's going to be a different kind of a different types of palms. The, the shadows are going to be different. You're going to see some of those darker areas. Darker and lighter and lighter and darker. And Looks pretty good to me. I'm going to clean my brush off. use a fan brush and I see some area here that I want to work on with the water water line maybe in here I'm gonna pull that back more back more. Pulling from the white that's on there. It's going to give you that look of more of the water. Maybe it gets pulled back in here and maybe this is all just just happening back there. Maybe we can add a little bit more color right in here. Maybe the maybe the moon's bouncing off that right there. Here and there and there and here. A little bit more white. A little bit more liquid white. We'll put some more waves coming in. 
liquid wipe and the fan brush and we're going to start tapping. Where you think a wave might be coming in. Might be turning over right there. Maybe one here. Just tapping. Just tapping. The corner of the brush and you're getting that look. Of the waves. Turn it over. Coming in. Crashing over. Maybe this one comes right off there. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? What I see happening is we're going to put some brush over there. I think we'll put some uh, things happening. green. There's some darker color going on here. I'm going to tap in some stuff over here. Bushes and things happening. I'm going to take the fan brush and come in here and pull up Here and there, and there and here, give you some of that look of uh, trees and different things happening over here. Kind of a little branchy things coming up. And I'm going to take the liner brush, liquid clear, and some of that light color. I'm going to come in and pull some things up. Pull some big things up happening over there. there. Take some of the color that's already on there. And we're pulling up from there. Using liquid clear, some lighter color. things up here. It's here and there. Give the illusion Some brushy area there. What I'm going to do is come back. Take the lighter brush here. Tap some of this in. To get it to set in there. a little bit darker color there. 
I'm going to highlight the other side more. palette knife you can also scrape in stuff here Those are the colors you have on make your little things already just like that Just scraping off the paint that's on there. Get those little things happening, like you see at the beach side. The beachy things happening. This is more of a sandy area here, so there's not going to be a whole lot of things growing. Well, looks like a finished painting. I like to sign mine in the bottom corner. And can use a lighter color whatever I use a darker lighter whatever is the picture allows it and I always sign my last name use some use some paint thinner thin it out I sign my last name And you can sign with your initials. Some people like to do that. I use a liner brush. And one other thing you like to do. is put the year in. The year is always good for people ever ask you when was it done or you can give them an idea of what year anyways. And that's always good because you can see your progress as you go along. Well I hope you enjoyed this painting and was a little bit different than I normally do. This one's kind of all at night with the moon. Uh, added some little things in here. Got the white beach going on. Some of the water the way it might look. And I hope it was uh, easy to follow along. And I hope you come back and visit me. Have a nice day.